Hey, how's everybody doing today? So today I'm basically upgrading the RAM in my Asus laptop. This is the model number Q301. However, there are other, other models that are similar. It's basically the um, same way to install new RAM. So basically what you have to do is unscrew 10 screws from the back. So let me do this really quickly and I am using a small Phillips head screwdriver and that is actually the only tool that I need. Everything else I'm basically going to use my bare hands. Uh, if you do it this way, um, I mean I'm not responsible if you damage uh, anything in your laptop. Okay. So in regards to the RAM 2, uh, I believe it is a 204 pin uh, DDR PCL PC3L. I'm going to put a place a link on the below. I got mine on eBay. It's like $15. And it is brand new. And you can see here I'm just basically prying it open. The, I, start, I start from the back. I just put my fingers in there and I slowly start taking things apart here. And you can start hearing the, um, the clamps popping out little by little. And then you just want to go all around the sides. And you want to go real slowly. Actually, if I wasn't doing this video, I would have just pried it open with one hand. But because of this video, I want to be a little bit more careful. So I'm basically working the edges here. And another thing is too is uh, this computer, this laptop came installed with uh, already with six gigs of RAM. So basically, what I have is I have four gigs on board, and there's another there's a mem there's only room for one memory stick, and the one memory stick has two gigs on there. So I'm going to be putting a 4 gigger in there, which will give my computer, instead of um, 6 gigs, it's going to have 8 gigs total. Now I wanted to originally get eight, uh, put an 8 gig stick in there to make it 12, but I don't think this computer goes up to 12. I think 8 is the max. So it's, and you can see this metal plate here. Basically, I just pulled it off with my, uh, my hands, and that's where the memory um, hides. And... So basically, if I was to put like an 8 gig memory stick in here, I do believe that it would disable my onboard memory. So I'm still going to have 8 gigs anyway. But um, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It, maybe it can take 12, but I think the max is 8. If I'm wrong, comment below. But here's a compar uh, comparison between the uh, two RAM sticks. It's 204 pin. And like I said, I will put a link below on eBay. And that should give you a better idea of exactly what you need. So here's just a quick comparison. They're exactly the same. And I'm going to put the 2 gig on the side and now I'm going to go ahead and pop in my 4 gigger. Just pop it in place just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and put that metal covering back on there. And as soon as that pops into place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the back plate of the laptop back on. I'm not going to screw it in yet because uh, what you should do is just pop it back in place, turn the computer over, fire it up, and then confirm that the memory is installed correctly. So I sh I'm going to power it up now, and I'm going to confirm it's 8 gigs in there. You can see it was 6 gigs before, and now it is 8 gigs. Everything is up and running, and my computer is definitely a lot smoother now because I'm video editing, so I'm quite happy, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.